mathematicians, today we're going to continue practicing decimal addition and subtraction. So we have a couple of word problems, and I'll do the first one as an example so you can see how I do it, and then you can try the next two on your own. So these are all about hiking in Bernal Heights Park. So there are two hiking trails in Bernal Heights Park. One is one and five tenths miles, and one is two and seven tenths miles. If you hiked both trails, how many miles would you walk? So I'm, if I need to know about both, is that addition or subtraction? Mm, that's addition. So I'm going to say 1.5 plus 2.7. Now I need to get my answer. So I see this is one whole mile. So here's a whole and five tenths of a mile. So let me put five tenths in here. One, this is the kind of time consuming part. Two, three, four, and five. So that's one and five tenths. And then I need to add two and seven tenths. So let me get two more holes. One, two, and then seven tenths. I'm gonna go one, two, three, and you guys can see I'm not lining these up very nicely because I'm trying to go kind of quickly, four and five. So now I've filled up a hole. Ooh, and I need more of those. Let me make some more. Six and seven. So that is two and seven tenths. So now I see I have one, two, three, four holes and two tenths. So my answer is four holes and two tenths. Now a tip you might've noticed is that 10 tenths equals a whole, which makes sense. It's 10 out of 10 pieces. So you're going to do the same for number two and number three. Don't forget to think first about whether it's going to be addition or subtraction. And then we're going to try some with a little bit of larger numbers. And if you don't like this method with the blocks, there's also a number line tool. So I'll show you A using both. So we have five and three tenths plus two and four tenths. So let's try this with our number line. Okie dokie. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five. Oops. Oh, hang on. I messed something up. Okay. Let's try that again. So I'm going to click on decimals and I'll just click this first one. Cause I only need tenths. I don't need hundredths. Although actually I'm thinking it might be easier for me to No, I'll do this one. I'll keep it simple. Okay. So I say done. So now you can see we start at zero. Here's one hole, here's two holes, and up here you can see it sliding. So I'm going to start off with my first number, which was five and three tenths. So, darn it, <laughs> I'll put my bar here and I'll start off with a five. Might need to keep scrolling a little bit. I need to get to five and three tenths. So here we go, five and three tenths is right here. So that's my first number. And then my second number is two and four tenths. So I'm gonna start off actually with the four tenths because I think that might be easier for me to imagine in my head. So we go right here and I'm going to start off using one, two, three, four tenths. So now we're at five and seven tenths. And then I still need, so this is, four tenths, just to help me keep it in my mind. And then I still need the whole number. So I still need the two. So now I know I'm at five and seven tenths. So another whole would be two, six and seven tenths, because this is a whole, it's 10 tenths. And then another whole would be to seven and seven tenths. So this is my two. So if we zoom out a little bit, we can see that we first started just doing our five points. What was it? 5.2, I believe. 
5.3. So this is our 5.3. Then we started adding in our 4 tenths and our 2 wholes so that we could add all these numbers together. And we reached a total of 7 and 7 tenths. So if a number line makes more sense to you, you can solve it using a number line. Um, sometimes that is more helpful to me. Or you could solve it using this. So, um, oops, these need to go on the next page. There we go. Okay. I could also solve it using the blocks just like we talked about. So I put five and three tenths. Now I'm going to put an additional two holes. One, two, and an additional four tenths. One, two, three and four. So now my final answer is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, and seven tenths. So it's the same thing I found with a number line. Now I bet some of you are asking if there's an easier way to do this. Yes, there totally is. Let me show you. So I can also just add this the way I normally add by doing 5.3 5 plus 2.4 equals 7 and 7 tenths. The reason I'm having you show it visually is so that we see why it's important to add tenths with tenths and holes with holes. A lot of times I've noticed students are not lining their numbers up correctly. So they might, for example, um, be adding the 5 with the 4, and that doesn't work because when you're looking at the visual model, this is a whole and this is a tenth. They're not the same thing. And if you add them together, that doesn't make any sense. So I'm trying to show you guys today, and you're also learning for yourself, that we need to think about tenths and wholes separately, because when you put together 10 tenths, they make a whole. And like we've talked about, that's why it's called a base 10 system, because every 10 makes the next place, right? We've talked about how 10 tenths make a whole, 10 wholes make a 10, 10 tens make a hundred, 10 hundreds make a thousand, and so on and so forth. So for today, I want you to use either the number line or the blocks to solve these four problems. All right, let's start.